Hey, hey guys, Mel Modeler here. Got another little kit review today. Uh, this is a brand new kit which I paid a small fortune for to bring you this video. So I hope you guys appreciate it. <laughs> um, this is the um, Airco DH9A in RAF service in 170 second scale from KP. Uh, so as you can see from the box art, really lovely depiction of the bomber in action flying over, um, I'm assuming, um, somewhere in northern France. Then if we flip this over, we have three different uh, aircraft depicted, um, all from 1918. Obviously the DH-9 was a bomber towards the end of the war. Um, and as I understand it, KP are doing at least two boxings of this that I've seen. Uh, this was the one I managed to get hold of. Um, like I say, um, it was a, an eBay auction. Someone else kept bidding and the price kept going up um, and I ended up winning thankfully but paid paid an arm and a leg for it. Uh, inside the box then we have a single bag um, that has basically everything in it. So we've got the, the aircraft on single sprue, instructions and decals are in there. Now with KP the plastic always looks really good. Uh, particularly with their um, their new tool stuff that keeps coming out in 2022. Um, I've done some other videos on their stuff, and what you typically find is the plastic looks good, the instructions and the build is a nightmare, but then you end up with a brilliant finished kit. So it'll be interesting to see if it's the same with this one. Um, I built another um, World War One biplane from KP and that was a bit of a challenge. Um, that video is coming as well soon. Um, but yeah, it's it's interesting, so we'll see what it's like, but let's take a look at the plastic and the instructions and decals and all of that um, before we sort of go any further. Right, let's take a look at the plastic then. Uh, I mean, straight away, this looks really quite good. Um, you've got some nice detailing there inside the fuselage the tail plane there looking really crisp um, you can also see how we've got the start of the de Havilland tail there um, and I really love this you can see the seat with the little leather pimples push studs real attention to detail has gone into this um, then you've got the, the bomb there There's the, uh, the air intake on the front. Really good plastic on the fuselage, instrument panel. There's the tail skid. So, like I say, looking at the plastic itself, this looks really quality. So it's the instructions that usually let it down and the build itself. So let's have a look at the instructions now. Uh, so, a bit about the aircraft, oh, really nice, we've got a plan view there, and we come across, we've got our sprue map, which is excellent, um, then we start out with stage one, uh, now interesting, you've got the little uh, ammo drums, now the, the Gotha that I'm building at the moment, um, build video for that is coming. Uh, I didn't realize that there was injector pins that you were going to see um, So I turned them into ammo drums and it's interesting that this kit comes with them as actual parts. So Yeah, pleased I did that um, and loving the detail on this kit um, I suppose that looks relatively straightforward. I'm struggling to see where you might go wrong um, well, okay, straight away, yes, you need to build stage two before you can attach it in stage one. So again, come on KP, these instructions are not that difficult, or shouldn't be that difficult, and it's really letting these down. Anyway, that's the fuselage built, one, two, then we come on to three, nose goes on, I'm looking straight forward. Um, that's quite a nice touch telling you that you need five millimeters of incline there. 
Uh, then we've got some some top bits going on. Okay, so so far we've only got the one one obvious problem. Uh, we'll look at the decals in a sec. Then we've got the guns going on. All very nice. Um, exhausts going on. So a bit more detail. Sort of stage by stage. Okay, that's that's an improvement on what I've seen before. Uh, then we've got the um, sort of additional parts there. Then the bomb racks go on show you how to do the bomb rack so the plastic rod spreads those out that's all pretty clear I would say uh, but again <laughs> you build stage 9 you build stage 10 and then you fix them in stage 8 um, so it's the numbering that's wrong so just pay attention to that I guess uh, then we have Oh, this is going to be a nightmare again. Um, like I say, the the bullet that I built that was KP, the top wing going on was a nightmare uh, because these are just single pieces and you've got to get the angle right, you've got to get it fixed. Um, th and there's no way of sort of like fixing that before you put the top wing on. So lots of balancing act going on. Then the undercarriage goes on. And then you've got some details on the rigging. So that all looks really good. Then we come across. Um, and yeah, we've just got some bit more detail about the aircraft plan and aerial views. Very nice. Then we have our decal sheet, which is pretty small and straightforward. Um, just get that in the light, see how much gloss we've got. Um, quite a bit of overlap that we don't necessarily need um, so we might want to trim those a bit closer before applying but uh, yeah generally they look okay I've not had too many problems with them um, with KP decals They're usually all right um, and yeah so that's the decal sheet so it'll be interesting to see how this goes together uh, and I'll do a separate video for that, but this is a pretty brand new kit, so hot off the presses. I wanted to show it to you guys now. Um, so yeah, join me next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.